I met them. <laughs> And I went backstage to one of their concerts. I'm such, I'm such a big head, aren't I? But I went backstage, and um, because I was with someone they knew, and Gary came over, and me and my friend were, like, holding hands, just like, oh, my God. And it was, like, chatting to my friends, and we were like, hello, hello. <laughs> then Mark came over. Yeah. Couldn't speak. Could not speak. <laughs> Then Howard. He's my favourite. Oh, is he? Oh, yeah. my God, yeah. He's really grown into his face, hasn't he? He has. <laughs> Always <laughs> looking. He has. You know yeah. what I mean, though? Yeah, yeah. Just, just think of him in prey with his dreads. Incredible. No, don't think of the dreads. Um, and then <laughs> Jason. And love I thought, him. Love him. I have got to speak. I have got to say something to someone from Take That. And he was talking to my friend, and he was like, yeah, I can't wait. Sorry, that's really bad. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Look at the colour of me, I'm like mahogany, we've been spray tanned. And I went, (laughs) well, you can never be too orange. (laughs) (laughs) To Jason Orange. (laughs) Yeah, you're still proud of this. Um, And I was so proud, and my friend was like, (laughs) elbowing me like that. She went, you've just said to Jason Orange, you can never be too orange. And it was that moment from Dirty Dancing where I felt like I'd carried a watermelon (laughs) and I just wanted to leave, but I am still very proud of me and Ted. A childhood, well, not even childhood, because I was like 18 when they came out, but a dream. But yeah, I'll say a baby. That that reminds me, I was in Naples once on a bus with my sister and the most handsome man I'd ever seen in my life got on the bus. And he said to my sister and I, um, is this the bus that goes down to the port? And my sister said, I'm sorry, I don't speak English. (laughs) (laughs) I love that. That's exactly that. Just think of something to say. (laughs) Oh, I love that. (laughs) He was unbelievably handsome. (laughs) 